hello guys here we have a question from again from pathfinder which is from build up your understanding question number one which is from the chapter rotation so yeah, let's see look at it a rigid lamina is sliding on a horizontal floor with one of its flat faces on the floor the floor is represented by the xy plane of a coordinate system at an instant sum of the velocity components of the three particles a b c of the lamina, lamina when they occupy position 0 0 1 2 and 2 1 are v a x equals to 2 v b x equals to 4 and v c y equals to 2 meter per second find coordinates of the instantaneous center of rotation at this instant so basically uh, the main ideas to be used here at are like uh, whenever we take two points on a rigid body the uh, velocity uh, there should be no relative velocity along the line joining them and the other basic idea is that velocity of a particle p with respect to q which is on the same rigid body is given by vp equals to vq plus omega cross r of r vector qp so from here uh, uh, let's assume that the uh, y component of phase velocity is ay the y component of b's velocity of b, b is by and x component of c's velocity is cx so from here uh, making the velocity along line a b zero we get the equations we get are b y minus a y times cos theta plus four minus two times sine theta equals to zero this is the first equation then the other equation we get from uh, uh, the from making velocities along line a c zero from there we get uh, the uh, the thing the equation we get are 2 minus a y times sin theta plus c x minus 2 times cos theta equals to 0 and again and the third equation we get by making velocities along line b c to b 0 the equations we get are b y minus 2 equals to 4 minus c x and on solving these or uh, the values we get are a y equals to 4 comma b y equals to 3 and c x equals to 3 you can solve and you can get these values easily then after that what we can do is we can find omega by using this equation and any two points let's say we, are, we take point a and b so from here wh what we what we get is velocity of b uh, equals to v a plus omega cross r a b so substituting the values here v b is 4 i plus 3 j equals to v a is 2 i plus 4 j plus omega vector cross and rab is i plus 2j and on solving this we can easily get that omega vector equals to minus 1 j cap sorry k cap Now from here, to again get the instantaneous uh, center of rotation, we again use this equation. And uh, we set the uh, velocity of instantaneous center of rotation to be 0. So from here, let's say we consider point A. So from here, what we get is VA vector equals to velocity of instantaneous center of rotation, which is 0, plus omega, which is minus 1 k cap, cross the r vector uh, from instantaneous center of rotation to origin which is point a can be given as minus x i cap minus y j cap here i have assumed x, my, uh, x from y as the coordinates of the instantaneous center of rotation so from here what we get is velocity of a which is 2 i plus 4 j equals to minus 1 k cap cross minus x i minus y j so from here doing the cross product what we get is x j cap minus y i cap 
so from here the coordinates of the center of uh, instantaneous center of rotation we get r x comma y equals to 4 comma minus 2 now the answer given at the back of the book was 0 comma minus 2 but i think that is wrong because when i even uh, plotted this on geogebra as you can uh, see on the screen the point came out to be 4 comma minus 2 so i think the answer is wrong here here uh, it is the correct answer 4 comma minus 2 will be the instantaneous center of rotation thank you